Hello, my name is Howard Breyer. I'm a volunteer walking tour guide in Miami Beach for both the Miami Design Preservation League and the Jewish Museum of Florida. In the video, we will be looking at Miami Beach as seen through old postcards. The postcards are of six hotels built in the 1920s and 30s that no longer exist. They were primarily in the Mediterranean Revival style, Miami Beach's predominant architectural style at the time. Most of them were knocked down before the preservation movement began in Miami Beach in the mid-1970s. We will look at the hotels in the order they were established, starting with the earliest. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the presentation. On to the cards. The Pan Coast Hotel was the first luxury hotel in Miami Beach located on the ocean. It opened in January 1924 at Collins Avenue and 29th Street. It was built by Arthur Pan Coast, a grandson of John Collins, one of the founders of Miami Beach. Collins Avenue is named after him. A year before, the architect of the Pan Coast, Martin Hampton, went to Spain to study Mediterranean architecture. The hotel had a Spanish theme with courts, arches, window balconies, and towers, and catered to the wealthy. This is what's printed on the back of the postcard. The American Plan Hotel Pan Coast of old Spanish design has the reputation of being the best equipped hotel in Florida. The hotel, famous for excellent food, caters to lovers of all outdoor sports. Bathhouses for the guests in the main building are one of the features. American plan means that meals were included in the rates. This was a common feature of Miami Beach hotels for many years. During World War II, the Pan Coast became a military hospital. Returning as a hotel after the war, it became a property of the Grossinger family, owners of the Grossinger Hotel in New York's Catskill Mountains. It was demolished in 1955 and replaced by the Seville Hotel. It is now the location of the Miami Beach Edition Hotel. The Fleetwood Hotel was located at the western end of 8th Street on Biscayne Bay. It was the tallest hotel in Florida when it opened in January 1925. It was originally owned by the realtor, J. Perry Stoltz, who named it after his son, Fleetwood. The Fleetwood had 350 guest rooms, a ballroom, and a roof garden. Radio station WMBF, Wonderful Miami Beach, Florida, broadcast from the hotel. The hotel was demolished in 1966 and replaced by apartment buildings. The Roney Plaza Hotel, located at Collins Avenue between 23rd and 24th Streets, was one of the most renowned hotels in Miami Beach history. At its opening in February 1925, it was called the Greatest Oceanfront Hotel South of Atlantic City, New Jersey. It was built by the real estate magnate Newton Baker Taylor Roney, better known as NBT Roney. He also built the nearby Española Way Spanish Village. The 300-room hotel was designed by the renowned architecture firm Schultz & Weaver, which also designed the Biltmore Hotel in Coral Gables, the Breakers in Palm Beach, and the Waldorf Astoria and Sherry Netherland Hotels in New York City. The southwest corner tower is modeled after the bell tower of the Seville, Spain Cathedral. The entire ground floor had luxury shops, and the grounds featured a 15-acre tropical garden. Considered old-fashioned, the Roney Plaza was demolished in 1968. Today, it's the site of the One Hotel South Beach. The Floridian Hotel was located on Biscayne Bay between 5th and 6th Streets. Opened in January 1926, its most outstanding architectural feature was the domed lobby ceiling decorated with murals. It had a supper club with top-named entertainers and was notorious for its penthouse gambling casino. It also housed troops during World War II. After the war, it became a retirement home and was renamed the Biscaya. It was demolished in 1987 
and now is the site of a condominium. The Deauville Hotel opened in January 1926, the same month as the Floridian, as a lavish gambling casino and beach club. Its location at Collins Avenue and 67th Street was far to the north of other existing Miami Beach hotels. It had the largest swimming pool in Florida, 165 by 100 feet, where celebrity Johnny Weissmeller, best known movie Tarzan, performed. In the 1930s, the hotel was leased to the health guru Bernard McFadden, who changed the name to McFadden Deauville, as seen in the postcard. During World War II, it was taken over by the Army to house troops who were training in Miami Beach. It was demolished in 1956 to make way for a new Deauville Hotel. That now shuttered hotel was most famous for hosting the Beatles in 1964 during their first visit to America. From there, they appeared live on the Ed Sullivan TV show. The Hotel Good is my favorite name for any Miami Beach hotel, past or present. Opened in 1933 on the ocean at Collins Avenue and 43rd Street, it was named after its owner, Chester Good. It was designed by Martin Hampton, who designed the similar looking pan coast seen earlier in the video. The good was torn down in 1976. That's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.